Hello everyone, welcome to episode 7 of Eco Global Survival. This is Dread Pirate Duo here. I'm doing another, um... <laughs> Sorry, okay, Jesse, what's my private mine? <laughs> I'm trying to get access. I got, I did some fun stuff down there. Anyways, we're doing, I'm doing another solo episode, episode 7. Um, we are going to be doing at least two solo episodes, and then we'll be doing some more. Um, I figured, what the heck, I'd just bring you guys up there. Um bring you guys up and, and start talking with the, with the team and everyone who's on here. I don't think anyone's in, in team speak or anything. So, uh, kind of see what's going, get, give you guys kind of idea what's going on when we're all on. Anyhow, um, we do have some skill scrolls. I forgot to let everybody know. Yeah, Cage is unhappy that I'm not letting him in my private mind because I got cool stuffs down there. Um, I found paper, I found metalworking, um, and then uh, I, I got agriculture as well because, well, we need it. That being said, oh, okay, cool. They got the windmill set up last night. I'm sure it's on their video. Um, I believe they did a, a they did a combo video. I don't know what to do with this. I was expecting a place to put my books. Bookshelf. Does it unlock something in here? Definitely not what I was expecting. You know what? I did not unlock um, agriculture. Someone else did that. Sorry, I think that was might have been Pam. Don't want to take a credit for what she's done. But anyways, it's supposed to lead to the town hall somehow. Um, but to do like the election skill book, we need a ton of crap. <laughs> we need 18 of each of these. Oh, and it did. It unlocked the election skill book. This wasn't available. So that's that's pretty cool. I guess we can we can work on that. It's probably something that we're going to want to do as a team. Um, I'm sure that if I did that on my own, um, they'd be, everyone would get hit. Make a Make a note to talk to the guys about that tomorrow. Okay, so here's what we've got. We have just for a windmill. Ask Pam what the windmill does. There it is. Ah, it creates power. I think. Yep, maximum output. see if Pam gets gets mad at me for making yeah, I didn't have any idea that was electric I spelled that wrong yeah maybe I did I don't know <laughs> anyhow so in this episode, um, I was trying to think of what else to do. Um, I don't want to step on Cage's toes. I know he wants to do a bunch of road stuff. Um, I just did this to kind of get the cart stuff going. Um, I really wanted to be able to pull the wood that I was chopping down via cart. Um, and it worked great for a couple times, and then it kept getting stuck on imaginary blocks. Uh, it was a real pain, and then it eventually disappeared like I was talking about last time. Um, oh. <laughs> They didn't know it could need electricity until they went to try to start it. So that was just disappointing, unfortunately. Um, I did up my like up my logging skill. So it only takes four hits. Whoa! Bye. I'll miss you. 
I'm not going down there to get it. <laughs> Anyways, well, it takes four hits um, to make the tree explode in front of you. <laughs> and it's supposed to fall down. Let's see if I can get this one to fall down without exploding. exploding. I like, what I like to do is I like to... Oh no, go that way. I like to try to tell which way to go, because you can usually do that by jumping up at it. Um, always take the stumps out so that they could... Um, so that the, basically the, the trees regrow. They will not regrow if you leave the stump. Which might be useful if like you're building a house and the tree is where you want the house to be. You just cut it, leave the stump, and then it won't regrow in that spot. Anyway, so with logging, I, I upped it a bit. So I pick up every log that I pick up, no matter if I pick up three logs or one log at a time, it'll give me three bonus logs. So basically, I picked up one log, and I added four. I picked up three logs and I added six to my inventory. And that's just kind of a way to make make it so that when people choose to be lumberjacks and log, they're not wasting time. They're not going to be, be wasting a resource or wasting their skill points that someone else can just, you know, make use of and, and, and go from there. They put a couple in and yeah, I can sit here and I can cut this entire tree down and have a ton more logs than somebody else because I decided to put some, some skill points into it. Now what that's going to do for me is it's going to make it easier for me to create um, things to trade other people or create, create value to trade other people. So if I have a bunch of logs and they need it and I need food, I can trade that. Um, so far we've all been really awesome about that. We've been really great. We haven't um, been requiring people to trade. Uh, for stuff, we've all been kind of just making sure we help each other out, and that's that's good. I don't know if that's going to continue, especially once we get to the point where stores and elections and making laws and what. like they can make a law that I can't cut down more than three trees a day. Well, if that's the case, I can still turn one tree into fifty-one logs. That's one tree, fifty-one logs. That's a lot. Um, other people won't be able to do that, except for Coho, because I did. Coho did the same thing I did. Logging, I'm at level four, and he took it to level four as well. If I wanted to. Oh no, I take that back. That's the wrong one. That's that's for. I took it to level four, so I, I can take down a tree in four hits instead of seven. It's this yield right here. I went to three. Coho went to two. I'm game engine cage. Similarly went up to two, but not any higher than that. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to come down here and maybe attempt to make another cart. Uh, I see what it takes. I think it takes boards. No, oh, sorry, crap. Twenty-one boards. So I also increased my carpentry skill to the point that I can make more boards than normal. Um, look here, I go to the board, the typical conversion is two boards for every log. But you'll see as I start adding more up, every click doesn't take away one log. A couple clicks. I can make 19 groups of two, so I can make 38 for 10 versus 10 for 10 because I've leveled up my carpentry skill and I'm just a more efficient and better at, at uh, making. Makes for a, a little things a little bit easier. Again, ups my value when I decide that I want to trade something. I think Cage may have taken it literally. Instead of putting the logs in the cart, he's just like, screw it, I'm going to put the logs on the cart and drag the whole thing down. Which would actually be really cool. I'd like to see him try it. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm just going to grind a little bit of these logs. Um, what I want to do is make enough boards so that we can make a few different carts and have them ready. Um, I'm not super pleased about the carts being so buggy because really um, what I'm doing now of bringing 10 logs at a time from uh, from here is, is asinine. It's, we're getting to the point where we need these materials. A lot of them, not just a lot of them. Going back and forth and getting these all the time is just a bunch of, it's just a waste of time. 
it artificially ex expands the gameplay. Now, this is not the, that's not what the devs have in mind. They have these tools, like the carts, um, that you'll be able to, to use um, to make life a little bit easier, but it's a little buggy. So that's, my, that's me complaining, but at the same time, if the devs watch this, which I highly doubt they do, because there's way more talented people making videos than I do, one of those things where you just gotta, you complain, and then you go, yeah, I understand, they're gonna fix it. Maybe I'm being too nice, but uh, they haven't let us down yet. Let's see, hold on, let me get this. So what I'm doing is explaining the cage that the carts might be full. There's a weight limit in both carts and storage chests as well as a slot limit. So what will happen is like say I have you know 10 stacks of 10 logs in here. I'm probably not going to be able to put much more in. I'm going to get to this point where I go to put one in. It'll say unspecified error. And that just means that hey there's too much in this chest. It's too heavy or you don't have enough slots available. That's what he's running into right now with the cart, I think. Not 100% sure. Um, so, I, I, with that being said, eh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stick with that. <laughs> Where do you let that go? I've already gotten tired of chopping logs and making boards, but. Well, I can't see it. Um, okay, well, let's keep moving. So what, what I'll do is I'm going to come over here and show you kind of what I started to do. I started to make the landing pad here where I want this to go. I want all four blocks to go across. It's going to take a lot of calories. It's going to take a lot of um, dirt. Uh, for instance, like, see, I have these two piles of dirt here. That is to kind of do that gravity technique I was telling you about. So, for example, if I come here and I drop into the shallow water and I right-click... It, I'm, it should have put it up on top here, but because there's gravity, it drops it down there, which it then actually displaces the one. This is the trick that you have to use if you want to start terraforming over or through. Because otherwise, you're not going to be able to. Um, so, like, basically, I could come here and do this, and then and I'd make a second one here able to come across here and then get down to make the third third layer is the first one oh no that's the fourth that's the fourth side so if there's four across I've already got this one somewhat started on both sides got that one started oh, I can actually see it over there I might be able to complete that sometime soon but I want all this to be road so what we'll do is we'll switch over to our road tool and works. If you look over here at calories, I have 394 right now. When I use it, it says negative 50 and it eats 50 calories. A lot of calories to eat, but to be honest, it's easier for me to go get food than it is for me to go haul um, dirt back to the Wainwright table. And then throw a bunch of you know, and throw a bunch of crap in there to uh, to build individual roadblocks that I have to put down by hand. That being said, what I can do is I can come here, start grabbing dirt, and that way making it into a road, and then finally connect all of these. Um, I will be getting rid of this upper layer here. You easily get rid of it by just scooping it up. Um, problem is. Once I do that, I'm going to have yet another layer to do underneath it. I want to have it level with the water. Um, I don't like it being above like that. So I want to come over here because this is kind of unmolested ground over here. We haven't come over here and done a whole lot of work. Um, there's a lot of trees. Probably going to be some elk over here. Uh, maybe some bison. Oh, 
Oh, it looks like the bush might be old. Yeah, it's too old for me to harvest, so that's... That'll die and come back. One other thing I was curious about is what's under... Aha. So what we have... This. This is copper. There's a lot of it right there. Um, I'm willing to bet you there's copper in the walls, too. But... Really careful. Um, what I'll have to do is I'll have to dig down another mine over here. A copper out. Bish? Oh, that's Bish. Okay, so Bish is over here. What has Bish got? Table, quarry, workbench. Nice. There's an elk over there, straight ahead of us. Okay, so what I want to do now... This is a long river. Squares of copper. Got, oh, there's some gold up there. The top. Copper and gold there. No iron. I'm in trouble when it comes to iron right now. We don't have a whole lot of it in the server that I know of. And that's frustrating. Uh, it's very frustrating because I've already mined a lot of it out of, of that area. That one mine I just showed you where I, uh, on the previous episode where I explained what the iron ore looks like. The trick of going underwater to see what's down there only other way I know of to find stuff. Um, not only do we have copper, not only do we have gold and iron, but we have... Oh, someone has been over here. I'm going to guess it's, this is Bish. But I'm going to guess... Uh, but, but basically there's also coal. And coal is a lot more effective at, um, at powering than wood is when you're burning things. Uh, power. Like in your kiln or in your campfires and stuff. The problem is it does pollute more. And that's that's true to life. I mean wood's a very clean burning fuel. It's not a very clean burning fuel. Coal is extremely powerful. So you uh, get a whole lot more energy than you can out of wood. The number of trees it would take to equal what you get out of out of coal is, is a lot. And it's not worth it's not worth it for general um, generation for generating power. Now I know that in real life we're 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 building different types of Oh, and that that's coal right there. So basically what I was what I was trying to say is, you know, in, in real life we're we're making some um <laughs> Them up. Um, we're, we're making some strides in different types of power um, and doing things on renewable resources, but it's going to take some time, and if we jump to it too quickly, we're going to have a lot of people that suffer. That's fireweed. Okay, I didn't know that that was the case. Beans, I think. But anyways, I don't want to get too political or too, you know, into that. There's a lot of people that have different ideas, and there's a lot of people that are very passionate about those ideas, and that's okay. I don't think anybody wants to really see the world burn. Or something. Um, and I think that's only in the game. I really doubt that they want to see this world burn. It's too much fun for them. <laughs> Well, we're getting to about 20 minutes in. I think we're, what we'll do is we'll go ahead and call it here. Um, I just want to get some of these fireweed shoots since uh, they, we were here. And probably go ahead and head back. Carb up or whatever I need to do to make my skill points work. And you know what? Come back on with multiplayer. Because if I do too much more, I'm just going to get in trouble for doing too much. 
So, until our next multiplayer session, I will see you guys later, and have an awesome uh, day, evening, whatever it might be.